Did you know that Jesus himself referenced the Bible, the scriptures in Luke chapter 24, the resurrected Jesus? He references it in the same order that the Jewish people do today, the Tanakh, right? Which stands for the Torah, the Nevim, and the Ketuvim, which are the books of Moses, right? That's the Torah. And then the prophets, and then the Psalms or the writings. Jesus referenced it just like that. And it was resurrection day. He was walking along with these two men and he explained to them, to them where he's found in all of the Bible. What was the Bible back then? The Jewish Bible, the same that the Israelis have today, the Tanakh, the, the Jewish Bible, which is our Old Testament, if you're a Christian. So watch this. This is amazing. We're going to go right into the scripture and I'm going to show you what this is, how it all lays out, how we can find Jesus in the Old Testament. So exciting. Here it is, guys. So, Luke chapter 24, Luke chapter 24, here we are, the resurrection, right? On, but on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, bringing spices which they had prepared. Who? The women, right? And they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And while they were perplexed about this, behold, two men suddenly stood near them in gleaming clothing. Wow. And as the women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why are you seeking the living among the dead. He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you while he was still in Galilee, saying that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinful men and be crucified on the third day, rise from the dead. So they're pointing out what Jesus had already just said to them. And they remembered his words and returned from the tomb and reported all these things to the 11 and to all the rest. So the 11 would be 11 now because Judas killed himself. Remember that he betrayed Jesus and killed himself. So we have 11 close disciples of Jesus now. And now these women were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James. Also, the other women with them were telling these things to the apostles. But these words appeared to them as nonsense. Shame on them. (laughs) And they would not believe the women. Nevertheless, Peter got up and ran to the tomb, and he stooped in and looked in. He saw the linen wrappings. Now, this is very important to me because I believe the shout of Turin could be a very real thing. You should check that out sometime. I think uh, Alan Parr did a really good episode on that. You can check it out. So they found the linen wrappings only, and he went away to his home marveling at what had happened. They went. He went home He went away to his home marveling at what happened. So he's speaking of Peter right there. Isn't that amazing, you guys? So now we see what is called the road to Emmaus. I actually wrote a book on that. You can check it out if you want. The link's down in the description below on Amazon. But this is basically where Jesus is in disguise and he walks along with these two guys that don't know who he is. It's resurrection day. And he explains to them where he's found in all of the Old Testament. All of the Tanakh, if you're in Israel, all of those scriptures, he shows where he's found. And it's a seven mile journey, which is, I don't know, roughly two, two and a half hours. And it was Jesus teaching. Can you imagine having a copy of that? That is amazing, you guys. So let's continue on in that scripture. Here we are. And behold, on the very day, on that very day, what day? Resurrection day. Two of them were going to a village named Emmaus which was 60 stradia from Jerusalem. That's roughly seven miles. And they were walking with each other about all these things which, and talking with each other about all these things that happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself approached and began traveling with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, Jesus says to them, this is funny, what are these words that, that you are exchanging with each other as you are walking? Here he is, the guy who made it all happen. God himself, God the Son, Jesus, who was on that cross, who has just been resurrected from the dead. And he asked them, you know, what are you you guys talking about? And they came to a stop looking sad. One of them named Cleopas answered and said to him, are you possibly the only one living near Jerusalem who does not know about the things that happened here in these days? 
And he said to them, what, what sort of things? God has a sense of humor, right? Here's Jesus asking them. He was, he was the one crucified. He's like, what sort of things? And they said to him, those about Jesus the Nazarene who proved to be a prophet mighty in deed and word in the sight of God and all the people and how the chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and crucified him. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. But also some of the women among us left us bewildered when they were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came saying that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. And so some of us, uh, some of those who were with us went, went to the tomb and found it exactly as the women had said it was right and then he said to them you foolish men and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets had spoken he's like oy vey you guys <laughs> he's like you foolish and slow of heart to understand all that the prophets had spoken was it not necessary for the christ to suffer that means messiah to suffer these things he was the suffering servant like isaiah 53 right to suffer these things that come into his glory then beginning with moses and with all of the prophets he explained to them moses and all the prophets is another way of saying all of the scriptures he explained to them the things written about himself in what in all the scriptures whoa so here he is explaining, he's walking along with them in disguise, they don't know who he is, and he rebukes them for not believing and being slow of heart to believe when, what all the scriptures said about the Messiah, and he starts to tell them about where he's found in all of those Jewish scriptures. Isn't that amazing, you guys? So what are the Jewish scriptures? Look at this. You can actually see it right here. We're going to check it out right now. So here it is. It's called the Tanakh. So here we are in Luke chapter 24, and there's like a clean slate of a, a, it's like the scroll is unrolled right before these guys. But what is the Old Testament scriptures? What were they? It's called the Tanakh. Here it is right here. And that TA stands for the Torah, which is the law of Moses. We just talked about that, right? And it's the first five books of the Bible written by Moses. It's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The NA stands for the prophets, the Navim, the prophets. And then we see Joshua, Judges, Samuel, Kings, and those were the former prophets. Then there was the latter prophets, right? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and then the 12, all the others like Joel and Zechariah and all those guys. And then the, the KH of the Tanakh is the Ketuvim. The Ketuvim are the writings or the Psalms, right? And we see Psalms, Proverbs, Job, the Song of Solomon's Ruth, Lamentations, Ecclesiastes, Esther, Daniel, who's actually a prophet, and then Esther, Nehemiah, and Chronicles. That's how it is laid out, you guys. Amazing stuff, is it not, that, that God has it pointed out to us in Luke chapter 24, we see Jesus expounding, that means or explaining, opening up, making clear the scriptures, all of those Jewish scriptures making clear where the Messiah was found in them. It's amazing to me. I love it. So let's go back into the scripture in Luke chapter 24. Here we are. And they approached the village after the seven mile two, two and a half hour journey with Jesus. And he explains where he's found in all of the Tanakh, right? All of the Bible. And they approached the village where they were going, that Emmaus, the village of Emmaus. And he gave the impression that he was going farther. And so they strongly urged him. I'll bet they did. They strongly urged him saying, stay with us for it is getting toward evening. And the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them and and it came about when he had reclined at the table with them that he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and began giving it to them. And then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished right out of their sight. Vanished right out of their sight. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Only God can do that, right? This is Jesus, the resurrected Jesus on that Sunday. And he vanishes right out of their sight when he did what? When he blessed and then broke the bread to hand it to them. Then perhaps they saw those pierced nail marks in his hands. But 
they he didn't they didn't need to see that they just saw it was jesus the, the disguise was gone they knew they recognized him right then and there isn't that amazing you guys this is so good that god did this and then it continues on this gets really good watch this and he vanished from their sight and they said to one another were our hearts not burning within us like in a good way like when you love someone deeply were our hearts not burning within us when he was speaking to us on the road while he was explaining the scriptures to us so they were filled with the holy spirit in their heart the holy spirit burns in your heart in a good way while he was explaining the scriptures to us and they got up that very hour returned to jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and those that were with them saying the lord has really risen and has appeared to simon and they began to relate their experiences on the road and how he was recognized by them in the breaking of the bread isn't that awesome you guys god put all of this in that order for us for a reason this is so amazing. So let's go back into the scriptures. This is for you. If you're in Israel, this is for you, you guys. This is this should speak to your heart in a powerful way. So let's go back into it. And it says here, now while they were telling of these things, Jesus himself suddenly stood in their midst and said to them, peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, right? That's what he said to them. Peace be to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought that they were looking at a spirit. And he said to them, why are you frightened? And why are doubts arising in your heart? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you plainly see that I have. He was resurrected physically. He wasn't just some spirit. This is physical, you guys and his spirit of course too and when he had said this he showed them his hands and his feet and while they still could not believe because it was their joy that and astonishment right he said to them have you anything to eat so he's going to prove to them that he is a physical resurrected being right here and they served him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in front of them now he said to them these are my words which i spoke to you while i was still with you that the all the things that are written about me in the law of moses and the prophets and the psalms must be fulfilled there he goes he just laid it out in that tanakh order the old testament jewish bible order he just laid it out right there for them so that they can understand and so that you can understand too you guys this is amazing i love this don't you so let's look at that tanakh one more time that full presentation and see what it looks like remember the torah the law of moses the navim is the prophets that's the ta was the torah then the na is the navim of the tanakh and then the kh the ch at the end is the chatim and that's where you see the writings of the psalms and the proverbs jesus laid it out in that order for them to understand you guys for you to understand too isn't that amazing you guys i love that i love it so much so my friend if you haven't subscribed to this channel you want to hit that subscribe button right now and you also you want to check out this playlist right here how to find jesus in the old testament you're going to see joseph as a type of christ you're going to we're going to go through the entire old testament finding jesus in all of it so click on this playlist right here